And let's turn to energy now because Talo Ghana Limited, operator of the offshore Jubilee and 10 fields, has awarded a five year uh, contract to Petrofa Ghana to support operations and maintenance activities on the FPSO Kwame Kuma. Petrofac is the largest amongst a number of companies, all of which are either indigenous Ghanaian firms or local joint ventures, which will assume uh, the operations and maintenance of the uh, Kwame Kuma uh, FPSO. Following the expiry of Talo's contract with Modec Production Services, Ghana uh, JV Limited, which ended on the 30th of June 2022, Talo, as the field operator, remains accountable for the safe and reliable operations in Jubilee, including K and K FPSO. Well, meanwhile, Managing Director of Talo Ghana, Rahul Dio, has been given the outlook for gas production in Ghana. Take a listen to a session with some selected journalists. When you look at the future on gas, the future potential, it makes the history set field very, very small. So, um, uh, just purely on Jubilee, we see another 500 billion cubic feet of associated gas available after the completion of this 300 billion, as I said, roughly by the end of this year, to market for the benefit of, uh, of the, the nation. Go through that Atuabo plant and then power both the existing power sector and also possibly the growing manufacturing sector over the coming years. On top of that, we have associated gas from 10, uh, which, will, which, which can complement and, and support this, uh, this growing um, economy here domestically in Ghana. Beyond this associated gas, through work we've done, uh, uh, subsurface work we've done, we see uh, over um, 1.5 to 2 trillion cubic feet, that's trillion, not billion, of non-associated gas in the reservoirs of Ten and Jubilee. This is gas that we do not currently have the right to drill into as part of our petroleum agreement, but is within the Ten and Jubilee reservoirs. So with the appropriate investment in the upstream, i.e. drilling these wells and ensuring we have the processing capacity, the, this gas can also join the Jubilee and Ten exported gas over the coming years to add on top of this uh, already existing export and the numbers I mentioned that can come from the associated gas potential. All this gas put together, we see an opportunity to be exporting consistently you know, 250 to 300 million standard cubic feet a day of gas from Jubilee and 10 combined associated and non-associated gas for the foreseeable future, at least till the end of the on Jubilee and 10, but even likely have the potential to do it for longer. So we'll do that and we're very excited about it. And the part that we're most excited about is under any cost for that gas, uh, it will by far be the least expensive, least costly gas available to the nation from any source, domestic or foreign. And we're, of course, proud that it will be domestic. So it will be the lowest cost gas available from any source, domestic or foreign. So all of that is benefit to the nation, benefit to the uh, Ghanaian population, and benefit to the, to the economic growth and strength of Ghana. Uh, you had the, uh, the managing director of Talo Ghana on gas production outlook uh, for this year.